At the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to fill out a credit card application because if you're putting the wrong things in the wrong boxes, then you can be instantly denied. I'm also going to be adding a few bonus hacks to help you get approved, even if you've been denied in the past, so make sure you watch until the end. But starting off with tip number one, which is to never put yourself employed on the credit card application. And I don't care if your business did $100,000 this year, don't put it on, it's a huge red flag, but before we can go into why exactly it's a big red flag, smash that subscribe button if you want to make more, save more, and raise your credit. So putting self-employed on the credit card application is a big red flag, and it's partially to blame on events like the pandemic or just the re recession because stability is very important to the credit card companies uh, for example when we're applying for a credit card the only thing they really care about is if we can pay it back and you're probably wondering well nick then what do i put on the application so i've seen the most success with clients putting down on the application the actual name of their company and that they're actually employed compared to just putting their self-employed income. For example, let's say you own a company called Rob's Power Washing. You want to put that you're employed and you want to put Rob's Power Washing versus putting self-employed on the application. This gives the credit card companies a little more continuity and a little more trust that you're going to be able to pay the bill back and that your business might just not go under the very next year. I've seen this tweak work wonders for most of my clients. Just last week, someone did it for a graphic design business and it helped them get approved for the American Express Gold Card. But before we move on to the next point, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment below if you have something to contribute. Remember, your question is probably someone else's question as well. Never be afraid to apply any feedback around here or simply ask a question below. Important to note, the next tip is a big one that most people overlook, which is putting their child support or their alimony as their main source of income. Basically, putting this down as your main source of income helps because it's secured, but it's usually a low income, so it's a major red flag to the credit card companies. Here's what to do instead. Which brings me to hack number one, which most people don't realize that you can use your household income on most major credit card applications. So basically, if there's someone else in your house with an income, that could possibly help out. If something was to go wrong, then you can list this on your application. Let me show you. So as you can see here, the CFPB released in 2009 and 2013 update, it is legally able to use your household income when applying for a credit card or simply a credit line increase. Important to note, most big banks offer this like Discover, City, Capital One, and much more. To say this in a different way, let's say that you make 50000 and your wife makes 100000 First, you have to let us all know the secret because that's just crazy, but in all seriousness, you're able to list 150000 on your credit card application. This not only helps you get approved, but gives you a better chance of getting a higher credit limit, which brings up a great point. There is two major ratios most people get wrong on their credit card application, which is their mortgage and their credit card spend. So let me break it down to help you get approved. For mortgage spend, I would never lie, but most applications and approvals suggest that you should have 30% or less of your monthly income in order to have best chance of being approved. So for example, let's say you make $100,000, which comes out to roughly $8,333 per month. You don't want to put over $2,500 for your mortgage spend, which is roughly 30% of your income per month. In the same way, for your credit card spend, it should not be over 10% monthly income, but more on that later. So at this point, we covered a ton of things that you should never put on a credit card application, but let me share with you a bonus tip to help you get approved. So most banks offer what's called a pre-approval tool, and I recommend using this every time you apply for a credit card. It's important to note most banks offer this, but let me first explain to you what it is. So basically, a pre-approval tool will let you see if you're approved or pre-qualified or pre-approved for the credit card before you actually send in the application. And you're probably thinking, well, Nick, how does this help me? So instead of applying for a credit card that you have no chance of being approved for, resulting in a hard inquiry that will ultimately bring down your credit score, you can literally see if you have an offer or if you're pre-approved or have a good chance of being approved before you actually send in the full application. So this prevents applying for a card that you have no shot of being approved for and prevents you from dropping your score or applying for something that's not gonna help you. That said, you should always be using a pre-approval tool before you actually apply for any credit cards and card companies like American Express 
actually have special features that will see if you actually have an approval before you actually send the full application, which again helps you prevent bringing down your credit score if you have no shot of being approved. But let's say that you didn't watch this video and you already applied for your credit card and you were denied. Here's what you could do to potentially overturn that denial. So most banks have this right here, which is a credit card reconsideration line. First, I'll explain what it is, then I'll explain how to use it. So basically this lets you appeal the decision of the bank and possibly overturn your denial by speaking to a real person at the bank and here's what you could say. First, it's important to note most banks have these, but let's say that you have to use it, you always wanna put your best foot forward. So basically you would call them up and say, hey, I was just denied for the credit card. However, I have outstanding credit history with my other credit cards, and I wanna do my best to get approved for this credit card, let's say it's American Express, to build a long-term relationship and get other products down the road. If you see what I did, I always phrase it as putting the ball back in their court, and you're kind of teasing them with, hey, you want to develop future business with them, so you're dangling kind of the money over their eyes. Pretty straightforward concept, but if you want more on that, then consider subscribing to my channel because I upload similar videos about how to use that feature. At this point, you should be fully equipped to get your next credit card approval. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to smash that subscribe button so you never miss another video and consider checking out this video right here, which YouTube thinks is best for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.